Hi guys! So, I'm so happy to be able to show you this video. I want you to see what you've been missing if you haven't yet joined me for my Friday lives. Look at this pretty painting. I've been doing some really pretty work and very invigorated by the live painting sessions. Um, beautiful comments. It's just fun to interact with everybody. The tutorials are really in-depth because they're real-time. Um, you're able to ask questions and get answers directly from me. It's just really fun. It's kind of social. Um, and I talk about a lot of things that I don't get to really go over in these uh, edited videos. So it's been really a fun sort of uh, foray <laughs> into uh, the live events and if you haven't joined me for one I understand that not everyone has that kind of time but you certainly can fast forward through the parts that you don't want to see and um, yeah it's a really fun way to spend a Friday that's Friday 5 at uh, live 5 p.m. West Coast time and I've been doing some really pretty works there and I wanted to share with you guys so please join me. So today we're going to do a bottle bottom pour. I know everybody's doing these right now and I usually don't jump on bandwagons but I have always wanted to try this and so I decided what the heck you know uh, it's just something I've never done and I really love uh, Fiona's flower dips so I thought this would be a fun way to combine those two and uh, see how it comes out so the colors that I'm using today are all just custom mixed blues plus that gold right there and that gold is just an Arteza's gold and the bottle uh, the bottom of that bottle I think is just um, my little brother gave me a little I think it's just a Coke or Pepsi bottle or something like that that I had cut off and it works pretty good. Um, I did one before, that very first painting I showed you just a few minutes ago that I did in my live. Isn't it pretty? It's like a hibiscus flower almost. So I just decided to try it again. I do want to take a second and say thank you so much to the people who are still supporting my channel. And most of you are doing this during my live events, which I, I can't say enough. Uh, you can help my channel too. Uh, there's a PayPal tip jar if you like these videos. I really appreciate it. There's an Amazon shop you can buy anything at, and that always supports my channel. Please subscribe and hit the bell all notifications and that's a, one way that you can keep making Heather Mater art videos come just to you and I really appreciate it. It's just one of those times that I really uh, need your support to continue this work. So I love teaching. I love it, love it, love it and I want to keep doing that. So the fork. <laughs> Isn't that fun? Oh, this is so much just playing, you guys. It was hard for me to stop. It was so satisfying. Um, <laughs> I just wanted to keep going and going. I swear, it, it was everything inside of me to just to stop doing this. I could have totally destroyed the whole painting. <laughs> um, yeah. It, it was extremely satisfying and I just love the effect. I thought I just gave those flowers just a little bit of a more interesting shape. At least that was my idea. So this is a little shop towel that I'm using. You know those blue shop towels that you can get? on a roll at the hardware store. So that's the kind of towel that I'm using because that's the one that I had. Um, it is a tiny, tiny bit damp, just a little bit damp. And here I am just gently laying it over and then lifting it up. Now I gather all the corners up and then in the center I give it a little twist. 
can see that little twist. Now, I'm completely out of the 24 karat deco art uh, gold. So, and I'm out of the 20 uh, the deco art extreme sheen gold, so I am not getting very many cells. Y'all know of another gold that makes cells? I'd love to hear. I know Goldens makes cells, but I don't have any of that either right now. I'm running low on quite a few things. Um, this has been a, a more difficult year with what everyone's going through right now, so I'm making the best with what I have. I did use some extreme sheen in there. You can see some of the blue sapphire. So I'm getting a little bit, or I'm sorry, the aquamarine. So I'm getting a few little cells on the edges there. Now, before I show you the final painting, I wanted to show you these markers, these Everblend markers that Arteza sent me. I'm really enjoying them. They come in so many colors. This is the 120 pack and they also come in 60. So, you know, depending on how many different colors that you think you'll use. I love the shape of the pens and they feel really good in your hand and then they come in this really cool carrying case and it has like a Velcro top to it. Um, these markers have two points. So on one side, the left side, you kind of get that chiseled edge which is really nice. And then on the other side, you get that fine tip. And they're super vibrant. I really like these markers. Um, I did a little project. See how smooth they go on. They're very rich, highly pigmented. The colors are really intense. And um, this is probably one of my very favorite Arteza products so far. Even though I'm not great at drawing, I do like doing it at night. It's kind of like my watercolors. They just relax me in the evening and um, I just enjoy kind of doodling around with them. Uh, so they have a very clean look to them and they are beautiful on paper. So I made this little project. <laughs> Isn't it pretty? You know, my artwork is always available. You can shop for prints and paintings at heathermaderart.com or just email me. So a lot of times I have things that aren't even listed in my website yet, so. Now with this painting, I decided to add a little bit of high flow gold just in the center, just to kind of augment the uh, luxuriousness of the flowers. So I was hoping it would fractal a little bit and I just incorporated it in. Now this painting, I've been thinking about adding some leaves to it. Um, I'm not sure how to do it yet. I do have some acrylic markers. I'm not sure. What do you guys think? Some green leaves, some vines? Here it is dried. You can tell me what you think in the comments if I should add something to it or just leave it like it is. I'm not sure exactly what to do. but. I can't wait to see you guys. Please join me Friday 5 live West Coast time and let's paint together. Thanks so much for coming along today and I can't wait to make more art videos just for you. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.